All right, so you want to capture audio and video from a web page like YouTube or something and have it recorded in OBS while also having an external mic like a Yeti mic. Well, here's how I figured out how to do it. I went to many websites, watched many videos, and kind of this, this is the settings that work for me. Again, could it be better? Yeah, sure. Everything can be done better. It's all what you, uh, what you want. Uh, but I'm happy with this. It's up and running. So what did I do? First of all, got this little cursor select thing right here. And uh, uh, I am running on a MacBook. OBS 30.0.0 is running on the MacBook. And this little widget here I got from the App Store, it is called Hold on, it should be called Screen Cursor. So if you go to the App Store, you can download that and install it on your Mac. All right, good enough. All right, let's get into it. So here is my OBS. I am up. I already have a scene made. I made a backup scene because I found you may delete stuff by mistake and then it's hard to recover. But if you do delete anything, they have a edit undo up here. Undo, which is a command Z, Apple Z, command Z will undo. It can, you can um, go all the way back to you recover the stuff you deleted. Anyway, that's a cool feature. Anyway, so I made a duplicate of my, my scene so I don't muck up the stuff I know works. And all you do is hit duplicate up here and then name it. And I made a machine, a main scene test for this uh, for this video. All right, so what am I doing? I want to go to a URL. I want to make a browser. I want to record the video and audio while also having my Yeti mic. All right, so what you do, you got your scene selected, created, selected, whatever. Go over to sources, hit the plus. I want to add a browser. Boom, add browser. It's going to say to just create a new one, right? Create a new one. And when it opens, you're going to get this. Take your URL you want of the video and the the whatever you want to you want to record put it in the url field that's good you're good to go come down to this box control audio via obs make sure that's selected and that's all you do there you set up your audio browser input and video source all right so what i'm going to show you here is look down here at the audio mixer you'll see my audio input capture for the yeti mic and nothing else. So what do you do? Oh my gosh, let's make the browser visible. Watch this. Boom, you got the, bra uh, the browser, yeah. The browser audio mixer gauge will now appear. So that's kind of cool. Now with the um, OBS browser source, they give you uh, an interact mode, which allows you to click in the browser window here and stop, play, you know, the video. Otherwise, how are you gonna do it? But before that, if I hit play on the interact and play the video, I'm not going to hear it, but it's going to record. You're going to, it's going to record the actual audio, but I also want to hear it. So what you want to do is have headphones in because if you don't, uh, the uh, external audio is going to come through your speakers and your microphone is going to pick it up. So you want to have headphones in and the way you get it to play to the speakers as well as record internally is the following. Go to browser. Hit the three little little dots right here. The menu pops up. Advanced audio settings. And then by default, it's monitor off. Go to browser. This is what you just created. And you want to do monitor and output. And then you can just close that. And that's going to now pipe the audio to the speaker. And you should wear headphones because if you don't, your microphone will pick it up and feed on itself. And it'll sound like crap. All right, so let's go through what I do now is I go in, I got the browser selected. I hit interact. That little guy pops up. And now you can actually control the video. Look at that, start at the beginning and I can hit play. And uh, let's see if this works. Like hearing what I'm about to say, but this is for your own good. So excuse me for being blunt and straightforward. Coworkers are not your friends. You might think. All right. So then the uh, audio actually came through, the video recorded, and if you have headphones on, you can actually talk over. You can pause the video and add your uh, add your opinions. Are your coworkers your friends? No, they're not. Come on, we all know that. You got to watch yourself at work. Watch what you say. So that's a whole nother video. Uh, so that's it. That's how you can get the uh, browser audio capture to OBS. All right, now that we have the ability
to record from a browser, both the video and audio using OBS with an external mic as well. I want to show you uh, the current settings I have for my Blue Yeti. Uh, again, got these from many sources, many videos. Uh, these seem to have worked best for me. But again, can it be improved? Sure. Anything can be improved. So, but here's what I got. So what I did, again, once you're in the scene, you go over to sources, you can add your audio input capture. Blammo, pick that guy. All right, once you pick that, you will get this pop-up. Pick your device, Yeti stereo microphone. Blammo, you got that guy selected, you are good to go. And what you'll see up here for the source selected, OBS displays the current properties and settings right here. So what you do now, is uh, you got your Yeti stereo microphone and I'm gonna get rid of this guy watch this so this guy's face is blocking everything so I'm just gonna hide it click on the eyeball right here see that he should go away hopefully yes I'm still learning yeah all right let's go so we can, we have our audio input so if I'm here right oh it's on display capture shows my display audio input Yeti stereo microphone is selected click on filters all right, let's bring this down just so you can see it. All right. So here is a VST2 plugin. Uh, what you want to do is go Google where that's at, download it. It's a third party. It shows you how to install it in OBS for Mac. Uh, this is, like I said, an OBS 30 on a MacBook. So uh, as you do that, once you install it and you restart OBS, you come down and hit plus at the bottom. You'll see it right there. Not too bad. All right. So VST plugin, you want to pick. I only have one option, Marvel GEQ. You pick it. Click on open the plugin interface. You get this. That's their little widget. I would screenshot this right now. Here are the values you want. Again, you can tweak these to your, to your, to your likings. I don't know enough how to tweak an equalizer, a linear phase equalizer. I didn't, I wasn't uh, taught that in public school, <laughs> but I'm sure if I played with it for a few hours, I'd figure it out. They also have presets, session bank, factory, go through and play with them. Um, all right, let me get out of that. All right, screenshot it now. All right, time's up. All right, let's get out of this. So what you can also do in the filters, I closed it, sorry. In the filters, Ordering does matter. It's like running a hose through a bunch of screens. So as, an, as the audio comes through, it's going through each one of these filters in order. So next one is noise suppression. I'll just show you this again. Noise suppression, noise gate, and compressor are all in here. You just gotta hit plus to add them. So hit noise suppression. I have chosen speaks low CPUs, uh, CPU usage. Why? On a Mac, I found that if I'm Loading down a CPU with OBS, uh, the video will start to stutter, audio starts to stutter, and uh, yeah, so I just kind of kept it on low. It's fine for my purposes, it works. You know, some people have great speaking voices, I do not, and uh, that actually helps if you have a great speaking voice and a great mic. All right, suppression level, negative 45 dB, Delta Bravo. All right, next one. Hit the plus, boom, noise gate. You add noise gate from the pop-up menu. There we go, you should know that by now. Close threshold, negative 38. Open threshold, negative 30. Attack time, 25. Hold time, 50, five, zero. Release time, 50 milliseconds, five, zero. All right, next one, hit plus, pick compressor. Ratio is 3.0. Threshold, minus 24. Attack, 3. Release, 15. Output gain, 6. This is useful if you find your audio is weak and not, not projecting enough on your videos. You can increase the gain and uh, vice versa. If you're blasting the audio and it's uncomfortable, you can, you can turn it down if it's just picking too much up. Uh, you can also do it on the mic. Like I said, on my Yeti mic, I have the gain turned all the way down. And that's it. Leave this alone, side chain, duck, uh, ducking source, none. And that is it, guys. I'm going to close this. And those are my settings for the Yeti microphone, along with how to uh, read uh, 
how to set up a browser video audio recording and you can do both and have uh, have this on have your headphones on and then you could you know efap every frame of pause watch this guy do you believe coworkers are not your friends pause it give your commentary and uh, play it again and you're good to go all right i hope this helps lots of good information uh, I've, I've been learning a lot with obs and how to customize this the next thing I want to do is get the YouTube chat to appear down in here, and then you can select the comments and make them pop up. That's my next thing to figure out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.